for those who don't know, um, there's a Heat prequel coming out. Um, he, Michael Mann is going to write a book first, and then he's going to adapt it into a prequel. And hopefully, he says he's going to make a sequel as well. So, I'd be really interested to see who's casted, because, I mean, I don't think they're going to do the Irishman technology thing anymore. Um, so, here's if, if I were the casting director, here, here would be my picks for who would play um, Neil... Uh, Robert De Niro's character, Vincent Al Pacino's character, Chris Bell Kilmer's character, and Nate, which is um, which is John Boyd's character. Here you go. The guy who I think should play Neil, which is De Niro's character in Heat, is Robert Pattinson. Uh, I think he can do a good, you know, accent. I mean, if you've seen Good Time, you know he can do accents really well, especially in New York. And um, uh, Christopher Nolan, one of his favorite movies is Heat. And uh, I thought it was funny how um, his character in Tenet was Neil. And uh, he kind of had that gray suit that uh, De Niro wears in uh, Heat. And that's exactly what I thought of. And I, I think that's totally intentional. But uh, I think he could do it. I mean, he doesn't look like De Niro, but I mean, I can't really think of anyone else who can do it. And I mean, he's one of the best actors around right now. Uh, yeah, I would love to see that. The actor who I think should play Vincent, which is Al Pacino's character in Heat, is Oscar Isaac. Oscar Isaac, um, it still just gives me uh, young Pacino vibes, you know, like in, in the movie A Most Violent Year, he reminds me a lot of Michael Corleone, and um, he's one of the contenders for Scarface in the Scarface remake, so maybe he wouldn't want to do Heat if he did the Scarface remake because he wouldn't want to do, maybe he wouldn't want to do two Pacino roles at, at the same time, you know, but if he doesn't get that Scarface remake, I would uh, really love to see him play Vincent. I think he can do it really, really well. The guy who I think should play um, Val Kilmer's role in uh, in Heat, which is named Chris, I think it could be Ansel Elgort. Ansel Elgort um, is actually working with Michael Mann right now in his new show called Tokyo Vice, and um, I think that his character in Baby Driver is a little similar to um, Val, Kilmer's, Val Kilmer's character in Heat, when you think about it, because they're both very, you know, efficient, you know, uh, passionate about what they're doing, um, you know, kind of, you know, cold, not not very talkative, and, um, I, but I, I mean, he'd have to work off of the Baby Driver, the character is kind of a caricature, really, but, um, whereas in Heat, he's more of a character. So I think he could do a good job, and I would be interested to see what kind of performance um, he will give in Tokyo Vice. And my last pick is for the character Nate, played by John Voight, uh, and he's like a really important character. He's he's not he doesn't have a lot of scenes, but he's very important. And uh, you need an actor with like a kind of commanding presence, someone who you know you see and you're like he's important. Um, and my pick for him is actually Brad Pitt. He doesn't look like uh, a young John Voight that well, but um, I think he is also a, a good commanding figure, and he also has played those roles kind of like in uh, smaller roles that are really important, like the assassination of Jesse James, or um, or uh, 12 Years a Slave, where he plays like a small role, but it's really important. And, um, you know, he has the, the power to, you know, create an effect like that, so um, I think he could really uh, nail that role as um, a sort of father figure in a way to um, the young Neil McCauley. Um, and in the original movie, you saw that there was like a lot of trust between them. And um, there was a lot of guidance given from uh, Nate, which is our character. And um, that's really all that I have to say about that. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to see what uh, it is. Usually I'm, I roll my eyes when I hear there's a prequel or sequel, but Michael Mann seems to be really passionate about it. so. I'm hoping it's really, really good. And I really hope his last movie isn't Black Hat, because holy shit.